hello everybody today in this video we are going to learn express.js after end of this video you can able to create your own api in points and you can build a web application very easily within very short time in order to start our project first of all you just need to go ahead node.js website and download node.js and afterwards let's go ahead and create our first api in order to initialize our project we have to type npm in it and if you type minus y and then it will initialize our project without asking any questions so and after that we can install one packages which is npm i for installation and which is express after install this package uh, uh, what you have to do so if you go over package.json file and inside this file we'd like to add type which means we'd like to export import es6 way so let's say type and which will be module and this allow us to write es6 export and import file which will be let's say server dot js inside this server dot js uh, file we are going to import uh, express from express so express and then we can define our app uh, which will be express and then we can define our port a port which will be let's say 3000 and then we can listen our app app dot listen so listen is a method and it's actually a port and then function so we are going to use callback function and let's add and we can add here console log so whatever message you would like to give is really does not matter so you can add the port here and if you save it and uh, let's go ahead and try to run this file so if you want to run this file let's go over package.json file once again and instead of index so it's going to be server and uh, whatever so if you just type here node server and uh, let's see as you can see listening on port 3000 so if we go to our browser it will nothing happen to check whether it's working what we can do we can add here app dot gate get is a method and here accept two things one is path one another is callback function so here we can define our like empty route okay and then here we can add callback function and it's accept request and response and inside this callback function let's say race dot send and we can add here a message uh, basically let's say welcome welcome something like that and if we go over 3000 and hit enter so oops it's not working because we have to reload the server once again so node server and let's go and as you can see so if you change here something so it's not happening live so we'd like to see live changes in order to see live changes uh, we can add here node mon but uh, in or just we can use javascript watch method so let's go ahead and try to use javascript watch method inside this test so let's add one script so let's say start or we can just say dave so and this is script so for example here we can say node and then www watch and then the file name which will be server dot js something like that and save it and let's just close the browser once again and uh, if we npm run dev so listening port at 
3000 and yeah so welcome to api so as you can see restoring so welcome to api so now it's working live api server so as you can see welcome to api server this means without closing the server we can able to run our application and we can able to see the live result now we can add our dummy data in order to send requests and get all data for example we can add here some data so let's item here is the item is an array uh, inside this array we have added object so id id1 id2 id3 and uh, yeah that's it so let's get all data to get all data what we have to do for example uh inside this get so instead of send request say rest dot send we can add here json and then inside this json uh, i'm going to add here the item that's it guys so uh if we just go to our browser and let's say localhost 3000 and as you can see we get all item pretty straightforward now we'll get id for example if you typing here one then we'll get only this data i will get now we are trying to get single post uh, by id so let's uh, go ahead and try to send request app dot gate oops gate and inside this gate for example this accept two things so uh, just like this and this is going to be a callback function and after that we can return something so inside this uh, we'll get a dynamic id since we'll get dynamic id we just need to type id and inside this function we have to add a variable for example const item item which will be let's say items and we are going to use find method find and find which will be um, let's say <clears throat> item so item and we we're going to use this thing so basically and also the thing we'd like to add here so we can convert this thing parse int and parse int is a function and inside this function we are going to add id and just like this and after that uh, let's uh, response dot json item and before responding we would like to verify whether item is exist for example if item does not exist then return so race dot status 404 and we are going to send and uh, send let's say messages item not found just like this and uh, let's do a formatting and it's look clean uh, let's go ahead and try to send request item one as you can see we get id one so if you send id three then we'll get id three which means our get request is also working what we have done we just use the find method javascript now we are going to add post request in order to create our post uh, so let's add so app dot post and this is going to be a callback function so we just use this suggestion and let's go ahead inside this post so we are not going to use any id and inside this post let's add a constant and this is going to be item uh, object and inside this item let's add name so name which will get request that body dot name 
and uh, inside this name we'd like to also add id so automatically it will add so id and we can just get the items uh this item and uh, afterward we can get the item length so length method and then finally we can add the plus that's it afterwards uh, we just need to push all items so this is going to our items and use the push method and finally we can response or race dot status so status which will be 200 and then we can use json so which will be item and that's it our post request has been created and let's go ahead and try to check so in 3000 and inside this body let's add this is test post 111 and send request as you can see our post has been created and how we can check so basically let's send the get request and as you can see post one post three and so okay i think i will get this thing post id created let's get 3000 everything so as you can see post 4 this is testing post and we have created final now we are going to add update our data in order to update our data we can use put request so let's go ahead and use put so this is going to be same suggestion and where basically we'd like to put request we can put request uh, uh, in id so let's uh, go ahead and use id so according to id we'd like to send put request so in order to send put request first of all we have to get items id so to get items id so we have to use items and dot uh, find method find is a callback function just like this so item so item dot id is equal equal request dot params dot id so before we can add here first in so we can use this uh, function so yeah that's it so and afterwards we can as you can see this is the same thing we are using so we just copy guys so yeah and then finally what we can do we just uh, need to get the item so what is this item so this item and then we can say name and equal equal request dot so this is going to be body not para oh uh, yeah and uh, finally we can response rest dot json and item that's it so now we are going to postman and try to send put request since this is going to put request for example i'm going to edit uh, item 4 so or item 3 so let's go ahead and try to send item 3 body so uh this is edited all right so let's send request as you can see item 3 edited so and let's send the request and as you can see item 3 is edited so which means it is working now we are going to add delete request in order to add delete request so let's go ahead add app dot delete so delete and inside this delete method we'd like to add the same thing so id according to id would like to delete so in order to get delete what we have to do we just need to get the same thing so item index so item index and which will be item dot find index uh, just like this and request dot params and id 
and afterwards uh, we can validate if item index is not equal equal minus one then we can return so rest dot 200 and send we can say item deleted oops not found all right and then finally what we can do we just use uh items and then splice method uh index and then we can use one and after that we can use race dot status and which will be 200 uh, and yeah and then we can use send dot send so yeah we can item delete successfully something so let's go ahead and try to delete one so let's use delete method delete so item three which will be deleted um item delete not found what uh or one so what was the message let me see uh, item delete not found so i think this is going to be equal equal so not equal equal minus one now it will be workable so item one so item delete successfully let's go ahead and check whether our item exists or not so as you can see item one is not exist but uh, let's send all get request item two item three so item one does not exist so which means our delete is also working so what we have done we just get the fine index so item dot id equal equal request dot param what we are sending here so param means we are sending two to two so so this param so we are sending 555 which means inside this request have to and inside this param has to so if this must then what we can do we can items in this equal equal minus one so which means one will be minus from this index so this is pretty simple and thank you very much for watching this video oh, and make sure you subscribe my youtube